Welcome to Silk Painting with Jane Cameron. Technical Series. This video is about how to mix your own colours of silk paint. So following on, I've shown you how to mix the basic colours and now it's going to be lighter and darker colours. So if I wanted to have these colours but I wanted them lighter, I would start with either some clean water or today I'm going to use the white mixer. So I'll have a bit in there because I'm going to mix quite a few different light colours just to show you. There we go. So let's do various shades of purple. If I take lots of it then mix it in. As you can see I can get quite a nice mid purple. If I just wanted a very tiny hint of purple, for instance if I was trying to get a really light lilac or something, I'd take a teeny weeny bit of purple and mix it in. And you can see that even that has gone quite lilac-y. Now, a good thing to do is you can either test your colours on a piece of silk or you can test them on a piece of kitchen paper because that will give you an idea of what they'll look like when they get on your silk and it saves you wasting your silk on testing. Okay, so how to create darker colours? Well, here we've got some of our nice bright colours and here we've got some black. Now, you always start with the lightest colour first, always, because if I start with black, however much I add to that black, it's never going to lighten up enough. If I show you what I mean, if I've got some black there, let's take a bit more black, there we are, and I actually think I want a sort of dark reddish colour. So let's take a similar amount of red. Yeah, barely moves. You've basically got black with a very tiny hint of red. If we do that the other way round and we start with some red, we can be far more sensitive about the end colour we want. So. We've got some red, wash your brush, dry your brush, and the tiniest bit of black. And you can see there that even that tiny bit of black has taken that colour down and made it much more interesting. So that's where we started and that's where we've got to. So if I'd put a tiny bit more black in there, let's look at that, shall we? About the same tiny bit of black again brings it down again. So you can see you can gradually darken your colour by adding tiny hints of black. You can make some really interesting colours like that too. If I start with some blue, let's have some blue. There we go. More. Okay. And again, tiny hint of black, bring it down. And you can see that's gone sort of very slightly sort of stormy sky which is a really good colour to play with, especially, obviously, if you're doing landscapes. This is also a great way, tiny bit more. You can see now it's looking sort of slightly distressed ocean. So, again, it's a great way of getting yourself a range of colours that are all going to work together. You could start with any colour here. I could have started with my green and taken that down as well, which is a really good way of doing really nice colours for leaves. So, yes, always start with your lightest colour first and add a tiny bit of the dark colour. Enjoy! Thank you for watching. Please check out my other videos and visit my website janecameron.co.uk to find out about my silk painting courses. If you have a suggestion for another video you would like to see, then please let me know on my Facebook page. Thank you for watching.